You are charged with the assault and abuse of a Mr. Stephen Smith. How do you plead? Not guilty, ma'am. Mr. Taylor, you may begin questioning. Thank you, my lady. I call to the stand the alleged victim, Mr. Stephen Smith. <laughs> now, Steve, you are a ventriloquist doll, am I correct? Yes. Steve, do you know this man? Yes, I do. Can you tell the ladies and gentlemen of the jury what he did to you? No. I can it's too difficult. It's okay, Steve. If you can't say it out loud, can you please show us on this human where he touched you? <laughs> man try and groom you? Well, I usually just groom myself. No, sorry, I mean trap you, trap you. Oh, oh. He kept feeding me alcohol. Have another couple of gear, Steve. No! <laughs> I don't have another couple of gear. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, domestic puppet violence is rare, but it is not unheard of. In some extreme cases, the victims are so emotionally scarred that they can no longer speak in recognisable words. Isn't that right, Judy? <laughs> tragic, <laughs> tragic. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, the problem with people like Mr. Roberts here is they think they own these puppets. No, I don't. Oh, Steve, you're telling yourself. Don't you dare put words into his mouth. You've been doing that for far too long. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, these puppets have rights. Steve has rights. Judy has rights. Miss Piggy is fucking annoying, but she has <laughs> rights. And if these rights are not upheld, it can lead to acts of extreme puppet terrorism. <laughs> Who can forget the infamous Basil Brush ha ha boom boom incident <laughs> of 2010? And that is why, my lady, we must push through the puppet equality bill with no strings attached. <laughs> and I will not rest <laughs> until this man is behind bars and this case is closed. No! Don't close the case! I don't want to go back in the case! <laughs>